Hey friends, hope you're ready for a little more science from Arizona Science Center. As a matter of fact, we're live at the Science Center today. Can you hear how excited everybody is about the science? I even heard some fart noises out there from the giant slide. It's all right. We're excited too, because we've got some great science right here for you today. Now, we are talking about states of matter, probably in a way you've never talked about it before. I've got some crayons here. Well, and before I even get there, you know, when we talk about states of matter, what are we talking about? So something that's solid like ice, when we add heat, what happens to it? It melts, right? And it transitions into liquid form, which is water. So we're gonna do that today because you might be surprised to know that wax crayons do the same thing when you heat them up. They transition from a solid into a liquid when you add heat. And we're gonna use that to our advantage and make some really great art. So all of us have probably been in a really hot car or had an incident where you left some crayons in the car. You might be surprised to learn that your car can get upwards of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really, really hot. But you only need about 108 degrees to get crayons to start melting. Luckily for me, I'm gonna use a special tool today. And if you've got one of these at home, uh, you can use this too. Um, ingredients to make your art, you really just need a canvas or some really sturdy paper. We've glued some crayons to the top using a hot glue gun. You can put yours in any order. And if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer or just stick your crayons outside vertically while they're in direct sunlight and you are gonna get some great art and here's some examples. So let's make this happen because my heat gun can get up to a thousand degrees. We're gonna put it on high. Um, I don't think we're gonna get up to a thousand degrees yet, but let's see what happens. When we start to add a little bit of heat to our wax crayons, Oh yeah, they're already melting. They're going from a solid into a liquid. And since we have them at the top of the canvas, gravity is gonna make those drips pull all the way down in a beautiful rainbow pattern. Just like that. Now you can get creative and try different colors, try different directions. Heck, you could even try from the center and go outwards, whatever you want. This is your art and this is fun. If you want to get a little bit crazier with some other types of crayons, if you've got broken pieces at home, you can use that same principle with states of matter. Take your broken pieces, put them in an ice cube tray or a silicone tray, just like this, whichever color arrangement you want. If you've got your heat gun, you can use that, but this one I suggest just sticking outside or putting in a car. You can start to melt them. It's gonna take a little bit longer, of course. We saw it just happen, they're melting already. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole process, but when they melt down, you're gonna end up with some great shaped crayons. So a really cool way to upcycle into some additional art, all with the same states of matter, and of course, just simple ingredients like crayons. All right, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Make sure you take lots of pictures and send them over to us. But if you want more great science activities like this one, and keep up with the great excitement like you hear behind me, you're gonna find us online at azscience.org.